Hello friends. You cannot tell because stuff is still back here, but I am moving out of my room today. It is winter break. Oh, I just got a knock on the door saying that my stuff's ready to move in. Um, anyway, what was I talking about? I just had to talk to a human. I acquired some books in the last half of November that I was unable to haul. I'm not going to be bringing these home with me, so I thought I would haul them now so that we don't go two months with me not having them to show you. So this is a mini book haul. Let's just get right on started. So I received two books from my good friend Tim, and I was not expecting these whatsoever, but he told me he creeped for that Amazon wish list, and so this just appeared in my mailbox one day. Gotta love Tim. Shout out to Tim the Fish. This first book he sent me is, forgive me pronouncing this title, but Alamut by Vladimir Bartol. Tim is from Slovenia and he is saying this book is from a Slovenian author. This is obviously translated to English so that I can read it, but this book sounds really interesting. It follows an 11th century Persia and it's like an allegory for fascism, so I think that sounds really interesting and I'd never heard of this book before, so thank you Tim for sending this to me. It just sounds so neat and hmm. You know, allegories for fascism. I'm all about it. And then the second book he got me was something from my Amazon wish list, which is just beautiful. This is the little book, um, We Should Be Feminists by Shimamanda Ngochi Adichie. I'm so sorry for that. I, I, mm. This book is tiny, but it's actually not even a book. It's a speech that she did. If you don't know, this author is a Nigerian author who wrote Americana and Purple Hibiscus and other things you may or may not have heard of. I have been hearing so many great things about her for a very long time and I've been wanting to pick up her books, but I never have. But I've heard this is really inspiring and good. And I've not read this yet. I can probably read it in like 20 minutes, but it's about feminism and I'm all about that. So I'm excited to just sit down and give this a go whirl through. This next book I received for review from Entangled Teen and it is The Revolution of Ivy by Amy Engel. This book is the second book in a duology. The first book is The the Book of Ivy. This book was pretty popular last year. I read the first one and wasn't the hugest fan. Let me rotate this way. I'm tired of there. I felt like it was just a typical cheesy dystopian that I was tired of reading but on the other hand I love these covers. This oh, don't read this if it's a spoiler to you, but it's so pretty. I actually am interested in what happens since it's only a duology and since they're both really short and they were both really fast and the romance was pretty cute, I think I am going to give this one a try. The first book is about a girl named <laughs> Ivy Westfall. Oh, wow. Wow. She lives in a city that's kind of divided. Half of them have been rebelling and the other half have been the people who rule, but the rulers make sure that the sons and daughters of both halves are married to each other so a fight never breaks out. And it's about Ivy having to go and marry the prince and an assassination plot occurs and shenanigans ensue. You can go check out my review if you want to know how I feel more in depth about it, but you know. If it's only a duology, I'll give it a try. This next book I also got for review and this one is called Thicker Than Water by Bridget Kamerer. I'm sorry, I just showered so I have water all over my face and I look so shiny. This book is new adult and that's half the reason why I accepted it for review. Also Jennifer L. Armentrout blurbed it and I was like, okay. Yeah. This book follows a boy, which I think is interesting, and it's about how his mother was murdered, and so he meets a girl through that, and they're trying to figure out things about the murder. Also, probably a romantic subplot. I don't think I've read anything like this before. A new adult mystery-ish crime novel, so that sounds interesting. This one will be coming home with me for the break, but I forgot to talk about it, so... And the last book I have... This was a total impulse buy. I wasn't even there. My mom was FaceTiming me while she was in Half Price Books. And I was like, you should go to the fantasy section and check out Brandon Sanderson. And she found this, The Way of Kings, which I have heard endlessly, endlessly good things about. And people are telling me, you need to read Brandon Sanderson. This book is so good. Don't be fearful of it. It's so great. When she brought it to me, I promptly hollered a lot. Wow. I think once I read this is gonna break the record for biggest book I've ever read, but oh my lordy. I don't think I will read this anytime soon, but this one is a special edition? No, just, okay, I don't know. Bonus pages that have full page illustrations. So, oh my goodness. Would you just look at it? I've never read anything that's like fantasy that isn't just young adult cheesy no world building flat characters and other than like Throne of Glass but I think that's a level higher. Anyway I hope this is just gonna bring something new to the playing table. What does that metaphor even mean? It's taken a lot of effort to hold this because it's pretty big and it, it literally looks like a textbook. 
Alrighty, my amigos, that is everything. So the next time you see me, I will never be in this room again. Should we just like appreciate it one last time? Goodbye wall that my mom jammed a really big nail into and we're probably gonna have to pay for it. Goodbye bookshelf that once housed shatter me. Goodbye lamp that gives really good selfie lighting. Goodbye other half of the room where I don't have a roommate. Okay, time to stop being crazy. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all will have a wonderful Christmas. I'm sure this will be up before then, but getting prepared the holiday season. Goodbye, everyone.